why should he come home to the church? Well, if one wants to be where there's truth and accurate biblical teaching, intellectual foundations, the Eucharist, which is Jesus Christ sacrificed and resurrected, in which we participate with him, uh, there's just a whole there's a whole series of things that have their completion or their fullness in the Catholic Church. I think when people come home to the Catholic Church, they need to make sure they come home to the real Catholic Church. Because you have some people either liberalized or they've lost their faith. There's some strange things happening in the Catholic Church. So you want to make sure you're coming back to the real church, which means we're coming back to Scripture, to the tradition, and to that which is really true. I think of Robert Schuller making sure that the Crystal Cathedral got sold to the Catholic diocese. There were other buyers. <laughs> and he said, I want to have this sold to the Catholic Church because I know their doctrine will not change. And I think that's one of the things we want to do. We're not always the most effective in our ministry. Some of the evangelical churches are very effective in meeting people's needs. And that's, but I put my cards with where I thought truth was, so when I struggle and work to improve everything else, I'm doing it for the right place. And I would invite all Protestants to join us in helping to renew, build up, and be active in the Catholic Church, because that's finally the place where it all comes together. All right, my friend, could you briefly close us with a blessing? Sure, let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, we're at a time of war with the values of the world, with the values of sin, with evil spirits and evil devils which prowl around. I pray that you would be upon everyone who's listening to this program, that you might come into their hearts, that you would give them the strength that they need to turn to you, and that you would bring your blessing upon them, heal them, guide them, and establish them. This we pray in Jesus' precious name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Wallace. It's good to see you again, my friend. Thank you for joining us on the journey home. And thank you for joining us on this episode. I hope that Father Paul's journey is an encouragement to you. God bless you. See you again next week.